Our Singapore is looking into whether a cohort smoking ban introduced by New Zealand is feasible here. Under the law, people born in or after 2009 are not allowed to purchase tobacco. Ms. Rahayu notes that the ban is limited to those in the cohort, but not others who may end up supplying cigarettes to those in the age group. She also knows that New Zealand has not banned vaping, unlike Singapore. Ms. Rahayu acknowledges, however, that the cohort ban is worth studying to see if it's appropriate and effective in Singapore's context. For a ban to be completely effective at curbing access to tobacco products for the affected cohorts, you need to introduce laws to penalise older persons who are not subject to the ban, but they may be abetting and actually supplying the products. We have already in place many measures in place, but as with everything, we want to make sure that it is effective because it's also the implementation, it is also the resources that we have to put in. Um, we must make sure that whatever we do uh, generates the outcome that we desire and we're not just um, paying lip service to it.